Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Welcome, welcome. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And as always, okay, Taurus or Capricorn might be significant to you. As always, keep an open mind, take what resonates, disregard the rest. These are general readings. And you can watch all your placements. You can cross watch for more information. You have other weekly readings you can check out. They are timeless. So if you feel drawn to watch any video, you should. Because it holds a message for you. Six of Pentacles, making amends, doing something the right way. And um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, make sure you like, comment share subscribe if you haven't and thank you so much if you have okay i think i was going to say you also have your monthlies to check out if, if i haven't said it already okay what's going on for sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising and venus sign sagittarius in the week ahead okay here we go in this situation we have the three of coins the challenge is the Six of Swords, crowning you is the Hierophant, and the foundation is the Lovers. In the past, the King of Coins, in the near future we have the Magician, the Five of Coins, and the King of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Page of Coins. Well, you have a choice to make, quite frankly. There is there's a conversation that has to be had, okay? Uh, there is a message that needs to be sent or you will be receiving. In the current situation, the three of coins. So you might be stuck between two people or two opportunities in terms of job or where to take your business or do you team up with this person or that person. Your challenge is you're going to have to pick one and walk away from the other. Okay, and that's what's in your foundation as well with the lovers. This is your choice. Which one do you commit to? You have someone in your past, the king of coins. This is something you're familiar with, someone you're familiar with, something you or someone you have history with. Crowning you is the hierophant. You have to make a commitment. You have to make a commitment. The new is this king of swords. That's your choice between an earth sign and an air sign. Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, earth signs. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So for some of you, it's quite plain and simple. You might be stuck on an air sign in the foundation and you've recently met an earth sign. Or you might be going back and forth with one and you've recently met someone else. Or I don't know what the dynamic is. But in the near future, you have the magician with the five of pentacles and the king of swords a decision has to be made or it will be made for you is what i hear so if you take too long you'll be left with no choices or you will be left with it's not necessarily right and wrong choice but you'll be left with not the best one let's put it that way because i feel like you're dealing with this is what i'm seeing okay whether it's in love or to do with your career or to do with your money prospects or whatever. You're dealing with someone who you're very tempted by or something you're very tempted by, but it comes with a lot of drama. It comes with, cha it comes with chaos. It comes with uncertainty. It triggers you. And then you have someone who is stable, someone who knows what they want, someone who wants to invest in you, whether it's romantic or financially or whatever, they know what they want. Okay, all you would have to do is accept the opportunity and then build with this person. It's nice and easy and smooth, okay, compared to the other situation. It would be the healthier choice, let's say. If you take too long, to decide whether or not you want to take their offer, this uh, stable individual, this uh, earth sign energy, they don't have to be an earth sign, but you know what I mean? If you take too long, 
they will withdraw their offer. They will leave because they will see that you're just not on the same page with them. They know what they want. They know they want you. So if you take too long to figure out if you want them to, to them, that's okay. That's fine. It just means we're not for each other and they will leave. And what's going to be left is this other individual that or this other situation or this other opportunity there's this chaos and conflict and difficult and challenging and it's tempting but it's painful and that will be what you will be manifesting in terms of what you will be committed to not necessarily that they'll be committed to you as well okay this is what you'll be loyal to for years and years in your life to come so Sagittarius be very very careful and make healthy decisions at this time with the Hierophant and the Lovers and the Magician because you're manifesting the next decade of your life. Okay, I want to say that. So let's get another row out here for Sagittarius with the Three of Coins, the Two of Coins. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Six of Swords, the Three of Wands. Yeah, same thing. With the Lovers, King of Wands. Now we have another King out. With the King of Coins, Five of Cups. With the Hierophant, Eight of Swords. And then in the Outcome, the Knight of Coins, Strength, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Under the Page of Coins, we have the Sun, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. Okay, yeah. So see, you have been stuck on someone or something. You put your heart into it. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. You had something with them. Okay, this is someone in your past. Because you, in your past, you have the Five of Cups. This is what you've been dealing with. When you came across this new individual, right? Or they came across you. There's a lot of attraction, chemistry, passion. It's typical lover's energy, okay? One offer, one opportunity is passionate. It consumes you. It tempts you. You feel like you have no control over it and it can lead into the devil energy, right? It can get obsessive. And the other choice is healthier, more stable, safer, if you want to see it that way, right? It's your choice. What do you choose? Choices, choices. Which one do you go with? Three of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Your challenge, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, to turn your back on what is not healthy, to turn your back on what is not balanced, to turn your back on whoever this is and whatever dynamic this is that is not giving as well as taking, right? They're just taking. That's hot and cold with you, makes promises they can't keep. What you don't see coming, what you need to be aware of, like I said, you're manifesting the next possible decade of your life. So this is something you need to be mindful of. And for others of you, I feel like you really want a commitment but with the eight of swords it feels stuck and it feels stagnant because you want a commitment from someone who cannot give you the commitment you deserve does that make sense and that could be romantic can be professional take it as it resonates now there is some sort of clarity that you've had with the sun card or you will be having very very soon and it could be with this offer that is presented to you, with this conversation that is had, with this opportunity that is presented to you, you have this clarity with the Sun card where you see it for what it is. It's stable, it's reliable. You treat it properly, it will treat you properly. Because, I say that because, for the most part, with the Knight of Coins, you will take the Page of Coins offer and you will start to build on it. And with the Strength card, you will tame that beast, you will tame that passion, that chemistry, that temptation, that attraction that has been burning wild previously. And you will give to what gives to you. Okay, you will meet someone in the middle and I feel like with this page of coins here, you will take the, the page of coins. You will take the page of coins and you will meet them in the middle. So Sagittarius, <laughs> you're breaking some bonds here. You have learned some lessons and you are taking control of something that previously you felt like you had no control over yourself when it comes to this person or the situation. But it always came in, it burned bright, and then it left you feeling cold and empty and abandoned. 
okay? This time, and it can be because it's the Mercury retrograde, right? You're reassessing the situation. Where this person from the past might be trying to come back around, and that's why you're put in the situation where you have to choose between, okay, what am I going to do? And if you've met the new person or this new situation, this new dynamic has presented itself yet or not, the choice is still there. Do you repeat the past? Do you go back to the past? Or do you make a different choice? Choose a different course. If you choose a different course, this opportunity will present itself to you instantly. Okay? If it's not here already. For those of you, it's here already. Okay? But you are breaking this pattern, taking your power back for the most part, taming that beast, taking charge of that passion, not letting it consume you. And you're saying, I choose to give to what gives to me. Okay? And you're about to embark upon a beautiful new, long lasting, with the Hierophant, healthy commitment in your life so good for you Sagittarius good for you okay so let me know what this is about for you uh, if you feel comfortable sharing but I really hope the reading helps you okay I'm gonna leave it there have an absolutely fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one bye for now